Hello, it's me again. And today I want to share what you need to know if you are thinking of writing a book to make money with. Make money with your book and help people to help themselves or help more people. There are different ways different people say this. So let me clarify what that really means, what type of a book you need to write to achieve that. Number one, they are two different types of books, and here's why. Making money with your book usually means for most people that they want to do lots and lots of book sales and become rich from the book sales. Yes, you can certainly do it. So the tips that I would give you on the way for that to achieve is, firstly, write the book about a topic that you know a broad spectrum or loads and loads of people want to know about. Now, great topics for that to write about are dieting, um, particular types of exercises perhaps, could be some real direct how-to, usually, usually, definitely the dieting one is the big topic to make lots of book sales. So then what you want to do is when you write your book about that, you need to really from the very start set up a very catchy title, a subtitle that explains exactly what that catchy title is all about, what your book is about. And then you need to go about finding out with your research where the people that are looking for this particular type of dieting that you're writing your book about, just as an example, where they are looking for information about that. And then it is going to be work for you to promote that book. Now, you can certainly promote it with paid ads on Amazon. You can promote it anywhere else you wish. Paid ads is probably going to be the most direct way to make those book sales. You can certainly also get yourself into um, media interviews if the topic lends itself to a broader, wider audience. You need to make sure, though, that you are fully aware to achieve making money with your book, loads of book sales. You can sell your book for probably only around $25, $30. If it becomes any more expensive, it's not that much bought. Um, if you make it too many pages so that the value is in the pages to make it more expensive, you are not that likely to, again, get that many purchases. Now, you can also, of course, with that type of a book to make money, work on getting that book into bookstores, physical bookstores, for example. But again, the chance to do that will very much depend on how um, exciting that book topic is and how many people would be you know, wanting to look for that so that the book sales uh, really make sense. I say it again, though, the big deal in making money with your book from book sales always depends on the amount of sales you can make. And let me just <clears throat> do this here mathematically and I can't do it in my head that way, but if you know, if you just wanna make, let's say $5,000, let's just take an average of $25, you need to sell 200 books. Sure, you might do that quite easily possibly if you do a lot of promotion, but you're going to have to spend your time on the promoting of the book. So that is making money with the book from book sales. Now, if you want to help people help themselves with your book, again, there are within that already several different 
directions that you can take in writing a book for people to help themselves. You can write the entire book as a how-to book, sure. Again, you're going to run into that um, <clears throat> hurdle, let me call it that, of how many sales are you going to make with it? because you're going to need to really promote the book and you need to make sure that the topic is something people really want, they are looking for. And the title of your book needs to be, um, again, very, very attractive. It really needs to attract the attention of the people. And the same applies, you know, to make $5,000, you've got to make 200 book sales at about $25 each. So, um you got to weigh that up. Is that really what you want? Now, the other way to write a book um, to help people help themselves, you could write it in a way that you are direct the people inside the book to go to a particular area where they can get the next thing from you. So, for example, you might send them to an online uh, available offer that you have. What you want to do in this scenario, though, is because the people don't know you yet, and they got to know you predominantly through how you are describing how they can help themselves, that um, they don't know and trust you necessarily unless you really focus on writing your book that way. Most of the time, people are not actually doing that. They write with go here's a link, go here's a link. So then you have the kind of a ladder, the step up where you send them somewhere for a affordable offer, then you have to nurture them and bring them from that affordable offer to the next and perhaps to the next. So that's a full time job if that's what you want to do with your book, certainly one, uh, one way of helping people to help themselves. Um, you can send them directly to perhaps in other ways to meet you online that can work as well so that they get to know you and trust you and then you put the offer before them so they learn the how to help themselves in the book to a certain extent, but they have a very clear call to action or direction to come and meet you somewhere online. So you can take the next step, have a chat with them and bring them into a higher offer. So that's the two ways. Now, bringing the two together to make money and get people to help themselves, um, you can see that, or you can hear hopefully from what I've said so far, that I see those two things as two separate directions. Bringing them together would look for me like this that you are making money with your book by the book being the one that makes you the money in way of people getting to know you through the way you are writing your book. All of the chapters are about your expertise and you're directing the people to come to you and you use your book in all of your marketing in a way that people are attracted and clearly know why they would want to come to you. And that would then be very much streamlined. That's how I do it with clients of mine. Very much streamlined towards your signature expertise. So I did that uh, very much with all three of my books. I had that first one about people, um, how to work with people, how to put your team together. That was the success straight away in the first week where I got five five thousand um, dollar contracts to consult in companies because of my book. That's a really fast way to make money. Um, the way there was no advertising money or anything like that involved, just my time to contact the right um, companies where I wanted to work with. Um, did that book show the people how they could help themselves? Yes, it did to some extent but I knew that the target market would not do that because they already are unsuccessful so far to do that. So the main thing, no matter what book you're going to write is your research. Your research into 
what you really want to achieve. What is that ultimate outcome you really want to achieve? And that can sometimes be, or it actually is a lot of times for people who want to write a book, seems to be somewhat clouded or unclear. Now look out for my announcement. I should be almost ready to announce the upcoming workshop that I'm doing on how to write a book that brings you a steady stream of, um, of coaching clients. And in that, I might call it something a little bit different, I'm not 100% sure, but in that workshop, I will um, unlayer some of these things in more detail for you as well. So for now, I hope that um, helps if you are thinking of, I want to make money with my book, or you are thinking, no, I just want to help people to help themselves. You can do that. I see that as two separate pieces. If you're bringing the two together, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Either way, it is possible, but there's work that goes into either one of those. That's it from me for today. Signing off on this video. Secret to Cast, Sticky Big Marketing. See you next time.